Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us listen to the voice of God Let us enter into his rest. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Let us listen to the voice of God, let us enter into his rest. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Let us listen to the voice of God, Let us enter into his rest. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Forty years I endured that generation. I said there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Eterna Christi Muneira, Et martyrum victorias, laudes ferem teste vitas, letis canamus mensibus, ecclesiarum principes, belli triumphales duce. Celesti sole milites, et vera mundi lumina, terrore victo seculi, punis quis pretis corporis, mortis sacre compendio. Lucem beatam positent. Tortoris in sani manu, sanguis sacratus funditor, sed permanent immobiles, vitae perennis gratia. Devota sanctorum fides, invicta spes credensium, 
perfecta Christi caritas, mundi triumphat principem, in his paterna gloria, in his voluntas spiritus, exultat in his filius, celum repletor gaudio, te nunc redemptor quesumus, ut martyrum consortio, Iungas precante servulos in sempiterna secula. Amen. We do well to sing to your name, Most High and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. On the ten-stringed lyre and the lute With the murmuring sound of the harp Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad For the work of your hands I shout with joy O Lord, how great are your works How deep are your designs The foolish man cannot know this and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish, all doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength You anoint me with the purest oil My eyes look in triumph on my foes My ears heard gladly of their fall The just will flourish like the palm tree And grow like a Lebanon cedar Planted in the house of the Lord they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Gloria, Patria, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into you a new spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. 
Taking from your bodies your stony hearts And giving you natural hearts I will put my spirit within you And make you live by my statutes Careful to observe my decrees You shall live in the land I gave your fathers You shall be my people and I will be your God. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. I will create a new heart in you, and breathe into you a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars, which you arranged. What is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hands. Put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. What we await are new heavens and a new earth where according to his promise the justice of God will reside. So, beloved, while waiting for this, make every effort to be found without stain or defilement and at peace in his eye. Consider that our Lord's patience is directed toward salvation. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. To sing as I ponder your goodness, to, to praise you with song. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is there.
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Let us adore God who has given hope and life to the world through his Son. Let us humbly ask him, Lord, hear us. Lord, Father of all, you have brought us to the dawn of this day. Make us live with Christ and praise your glory. Lord, hear us. You have poured out faith, hope, and love upon us. Keep them firmly rooted in our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, let our eyes be always raised up to you so that we may swiftly answer your call. Lord, hear us. Protect us from the snares and enticements of evil. Keep our feet from stumbling. Lord, hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church watered by the blood shed by saints Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, Protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesu. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen.